Let the joy of salvation, the victory of salvation be for everyone now in Jesus' name. New life, eternal life, joyful life, victorious life, righteous life, grant unto everyone. We receive. My friend, you receive. Son, you receive. Daughter, you receive. You are saved in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Another amen. A good, unforgettable, a holder. Amen. Keep on standing. Our overseer is coming now to give us instruction. And our counselors, please, please, very quickly go there to them. We have quite, uh, you know, a crowd. So let's do this in time. And then, now that you become the temple of God, I'm coming back. This temple of yours, your body, will be repaired tonight, restored tonight. Healed tonight. Everything broken in your life will be mended tonight. Pastor, please go ahead. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Please keep on standing. Our choir members, all our workers, please attend to the people. Please try and get to the back as well and to the left-hand side as well, please. Don't mind the ground. Just reach out to everybody. Please don't sit down yet. Keep on standing until you are attended to. We want to tell you that the Lord is happy for what you have done tonight. That's the greatest decision you will ever make in life. And it is the decision that will matter in eternity. And so... Our counselors are by your side. They are there to get your details, your name and other particulars, so that we'll be able to help you to retain the faith you have in Christ tonight. So feel free to give them all that they request from you. You are now a child of God. You cannot tell lies anymore. So tell them everything about yourself, the request from you. And if you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link there on your set or the system with which you receive the message tonight. Or if you cannot be able to click it, just copy and paste it, and it will take you to where you can fill in your details. And it is GCK hq.org forward slash connect. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you have just given your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, 
and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three again plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three send your particulars to that number there will be a special meeting lunch hour with jesus tomorrow by 3 p.m for all those who gave their lives to christ tonight and those who did yesterday as you will come here tomorrow by 3 p.m please you will go to the right hand side behind this tent you are going to see where we will meet with you as a package for you and we shall be given to you tomorrow so don't forget to attend by 3 p.m on the dot there will also be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade. On Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024, in all our churches globally, more details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. But for those in Alpha location here, the Believers' Banquet will be on Sunday, 6th of October at the Deeper Bible Church venue that the counselors will be telling you. And it will be by 3 p.m. So our counselors... Please get to everybody. Let everybody have the opportunity to give us their names, their particulars. And if you have not been attended to, please, can you raise your hand and wave it so that our counselors can get to you? So please, the counselors, let's do a thorough job tonight. Get to all the places, including the streets adjoining the venue here. So go there to see a lot of people. Those of us who are sitting down, don't forget to be praying, calling upon the Lord, that tonight, the pastor has already told us, you will receive a miracle you have never got in your whole life. And so, tell the Lord and say, Lord, tonight, the prophecy of the servant of the Lord will be fulfilled on me. Talk to the Lord. Our counselors, please, let's be faster. Let's get to everybody. There is joy in heaven tonight for every one of us who has given his or her life to Christ. Don't forget, please, if you have not been attended to, don't sit down yet until our counselors come by your side.
Let's be faster. Let's be faster. Please, we want our choir members, please, those who are sitting down, could you please rise to lend a helping hand, please. God bless you. God bless you. Just join our counselors who are attending to the converse. Don't forget, that's the main reason we are here. Please, God bless you. Please join our counselors. Just get to the back. Attend to everybody. If you have not been attended to, please just wave your hand. Let them see you are there. Once again, we want to remind our online audience that if you give your life to Christ tonight, after the message of a pastor, there is a link on the system you use to receive the message. You can click it and then fill out the form that we can use to assist you further in your new work with Christ. If you cannot click on that link, just copy it and paste. Or you will type it on your on the browse bar and it is gckhq.org forward slash connect. With that, it will take you to the form. You fill it and turn it in. Also, if you are listening through the radio or television and you have just given your light to Christ, you will send your name, your phone number, your location address through SMS or WhatsApp to this number, which I'll call now, plus 234-915-2242. C3. Please, may I know if we are through now the left-hand side of the crowd? That is your own right-hand side, but my own left-hand side. So if you are through there, please, can you raise your banner or your balloon and wave it at me? Okay, the far left, please, the far left. Can I get signal from there? The far left. That's your far right. Can you signal to let us know if you are true? Just raise your banner or your balloon and wave it at me. At the central area, can you, just central now, can you please wave at me if you are true? Just wave your banner or your balloon. Please, can you do that? Okay. God bless you. At the right-hand side of the crowd, please, if you are true with your with the assignments can you please raise your banner or your balloon at the at the right hand side and wave it at me 
Okay, thank you very much. Now, I want to get a signal from the far left. Please, if you have gone through, can you please raise your balloon or your banner and wave it at me, please? At the far left. Shall we be faster? Can you raise up your banner now if you are true at the far left? Just wave it at me. In the front, at the far left, please. Wave it at me. Wave it at me if you are true. Okay. Shall we all rise up on our feet? As the pastor comes, expect that wonderful thing that has never happened to you before. Amen. That amen is good, but heaven needs a better amen. Somebody help me shout miracle. miracle. Shout healing. healing. Shout deliverance. deliverance. Shout dominion. dominion. You know, when the rain was falling earlier in the day, every part, it fell here, fell here, fell there, fell everywhere. And the rain came on everybody except those who were hiding themselves under shelter. Miracle is going to fall like rain. Yeah. Healing is going to fall like rain. Yeah. It's coming from heaven. Yeah. And this is the grace of God that brings everything that Calvary has provided for everyone. Brother, there for you. Sister, there for you. Young people, there for you. You raise up your hand. You lay the other hand on yourself. There's no discrimination. There's no partiality. Healing will come to you. And as we pray in the name of Jesus, when we hear that final amen, your problems are finished. Yeah. We're ready now. Heaven is ready now. Yeah. Who will be the next to testify? Yeah. Father, we love you and we thank you. Great God, loving God, gracious God. And we know you are going to heal all your people in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, in your love, in your compassion, put testimony in every mouth. Now, the rain of healing will begin to fall. Let it fall on everyone. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Let the miracle power of the Lord come upon you right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray. That brain problem be healed in Jesus' name. Madness, insanity, demon possession, 
you are cancelled in Jesus name I pray for those who have blind eyes you are the creator and you have spare eyes for everyone I pray that blindness will vanish away and I command the bandage invisible bandage of the devil that blindfolds you come out in Jesus name Glaucoma, get out from there. Cataract, get out from there. Dimness of sight, get out in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, I command the deafness, I command the dumbness, be healed in Jesus' name. Those deaf ears begin to hear right now. Dumb tongues speak out right now. I pray for those who have swelling on their body, swelling in the legs, swelling in the private part, swelling in the armpit, anywhere, even at the back, swelling. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Also, has no place in the temple of the living God. And ye are the temples of the living God. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Cancer comes to make long life short. Cancer comes to cause premature death. I command that spirit of death come out in Jesus' name. Yeah. Cancer, that fellow you occupy in the body already has long life you will not cut short the long life cancer be healed in jesus name that swelling of cancer that sore of the cancer you're healed dry up now in jesus name noise in your head Demon, shut up. Demon, harassing the brain, shut up. Come out in Jesus' name. Pile, you are healed in Jesus' name. Uh, diabetes, be healed in Jesus' name. High blood pressure, be healed in Jesus' name. Weak body, weak joint. Weak knees, weak life, let strength come now on everyone in Jesus' name. Whatever they call sickness, whatever they call disease, I send them packing out of your life. Be healed. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. And now you have dominion over everything that had that dominion over your life before. Amen. You're healed. Amen. I am healed. Amen. You're delivered. Amen. I am delivered. Amen. Receive your miracle right now. Amen. Receive your healing right now. And what you could not do before, as we we'll say the final amen now, you will be able to do. Lord, confirm it in everyone. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't just watch others. Check up yourself. Look at yourself there. See where that thing was. Look at it. It's gone. And now you couldn't stand. Now you can stand. You couldn't walk. Now you can walk. You couldn't see. Now you can see. You couldn't hear. Now you can hear. Check up yourself. There's testimony in your mouth. There is testimony. Out. Check up, check up, check up. You will see what the Lord has done. Yes. Check your body. You will see that the Lord has performed 
that miracle, as you have that miracle on your body, rise up from that your wheelchair. Throw away that your crutch, that your walking stick, that thing you put in your ear you used to hear. Remove it because you are healed now. Yes, 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 yes. It is happening. I say it is happening. God is doing it. Check your own. Get your own. Rise up where you are. Even if you are paralyzed, you are healed already. Your eyes are opened already. Your ears can hear already. And your hands are stretched already. Begin to rise up, demonstrate it, demonstrate it, demonstrate it. Anywhere you are, counselors help them, help them. As they get healed and they confirm it, just come to the left-hand side here. Check up, God is doing something. God is doing something. Put your hands together and welcome. Welcome. Miracle, welcome. Signs, welcome. Wonders, welcome. 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 Jam your hands together and welcome what God is doing. Welcome it. Welcome it. Welcome it. God is working. God is great. Check your body, you will see that thing crawling inside your head is gone. That hand that is deformed is stretched out now. That leg that is docile, dormant, live has come in. Exercise yourself. You couldn't bend yourself. Bend yourself now, you see what God has done. Yes, please, our counselors begin to bring out those that are healed to the left-hand side of the stage here. And all our counselors, please come out so you can to Checking yourself. The Lord is walking here. Yes, come out, come out and share your testimony.
Bring them out. Bring them out. Who have got their miracles, please you come to the left hand side here, my own left hand side here, to share your testimony to see our leaders. Amen. I said, Amen. I said, Amen. Yes, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out to the left hand side here and share your testimony. Do we have any testimonies online? <laughs> Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace. The wonders of God's grace is evident and all around us. God is responding abundantly, completely, and exceedingly at the GCK Alpha location and all around the globe. We now bring you testimonies from the online audience. From DCLM YouTube, Juma Ba says, I was, feeling in my, I was feeling a sensation in my eyes for a long time now. Each time it happens, my eyes would be blurry. But I thank God that he has healed me today and it's permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Also from DCLM YouTube, Obasi Obunaya is testifying and he said, Thank you, Heavenly Father, for I received my healing and total liberation from stroke, paralysis, prostrate gland enlargement, pile, demonic attacks by unclean spirits. Hallelujah. Amen. A peculiar particle of the divine grace has this to say. Her name is Alorigo Rachel. She said, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving me great salvation, so rich and free. Praise the Lord. From the DCLM YouTube, Keziah Apia, our God is indeed a miracle-working God. I was having pains in my breast. After the prayers of the daddy, I don't feel the pains anymore. I thank God for healing me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Raphael from Cameroon says, I had this chest pain for a while, but today it is gone by the prayers of the man of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. More miracles from online audience. Again, a KW from Lagos, Nigeria is testifying. I want to thank God for healing me of pile and body pains after the prayer of the man of God tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For comfort, Oshonebo from Ogun State, she says, God has healed me of chronic bad breath of 23 years after the prayer of the man of God. All glory be to his holy name. Amen. We now return you to our moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. Can you see what God is doing there? Raise up that worker. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Put your hands together. God is doing something. I say God is doing something. I say God is doing something. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Check yourself. You come to the left-hand side of the stage here.
We shall take some testimonies from the Alpha location now. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. By my side is Mr. Gashon Uwankwo. He's here to share the testimony of what God has done for him. Let's hear him. Praise the Lord. My name is Gashon Uwankwo of Central Group, Aouda East Region, Rivers West, Nigeria. I'm here before all this night to testify of what God did in my life. During the GCK July edition, full salvation and total healing through Christ. Before the crusade, on 25th of June, I was trying to clean my left, left ear with an object. As I was walking towards the parlor, mistakenly, my hand hit on the wall and the object pierced into my ear. It was a terrible experience. And within five minutes, I could not be able to hear with that ear. And the pain was so severe. And as time kept on, I began to experience a lot of things. I cannot be, as I swallowed saliva, I felt pain there. And at the broken of the day, I met my overseer and explained to him of my experience. He prayed with me and advised me to go for checkup. I went to UBTH and two doctors conducted a check, examined me, and they discovered that I punctured my eardrum. And they told me that. From now, I took my bath. I, should, I shouldn't allow water to enter my ear. And they gave me drugs. I went there two times. That is after two, two weeks. So the, as I take the drugs, it didn't persevere. It was a very painful experience. Um, that GCK of July, the last day, I went to the church earlier, and because I need to re re regain my ear, I prayed. As pastor finished his preaching, and it was the last prayer, as he prayed and said, Amen. Lo and behold, brethren, the pain disappeared. I will be able to hear with my left ear, and since then, I cannot experience anything again. And I have not gone to the, to, to the, BMW, to the UPTH again. This is what God has done for me. I'm very grateful because I can now use my left ear because God hid me. Praise the Lord! And together... Are you not happy that the brother is healed? Put your hands together and praise the Lord.
More testimonies. Praise the Lord. The lady by my side is Mrs. Peace Emmanuel. She had a testimony of what the Lord has done for her. Let's listen to her. Praise the Lord. My name is Peace Emmanuel. I'm from River State. Homework, Onega River State, Homework Region, Obosi. I'm here to testify the good work that God has done for me, for healing me. For yesterday, I came here with severe headache and chest pain caused by ulcer. I've been, this pain has been there, getting to two years, and I've been going to hospital, treating that, the ulcer, but it's still there. But today, yesterday, I came here with that pain. Serious in my chest and also severe headache. But yes, after the man God has prayed, the last prayer, and then I didn't feel the pain again. The, the headache, the severe headache has gone, and the chest has gone. I'm not feeling the pain again till today. I want to give God the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Mrs. Peace Emmanuel had severe headache and at the same time have peptic ulcer disease. But after the prayer of the servant of God, yesterday, she is healed of petic ulcer disease. Praise the Lord. It is gone and gone forever. More testimonies. Praise the Lord. There are more things that the Lord is doing here. The person by my side is blessing. Woe. She's here to give a testimony of what God has done for her. Bless her. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. I am here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. My name is Mweye Blessing. I'm really grateful for what the Lord has done in my life and family. That is in the year 2022. February precisely, I took a girl to Lagos to go and stay with my younger sister. So she has been with them for four months. In July, they called me that the girl had been missing. So we are just looking for her. And I told my sister and the husband, we need to involve the parents of this child. And when we involved the parents, the father was like threatening me that I've used the child for ritual, that she, he's going to kill 20 person in my family. And I, this thing is like a, a kind of, I can't sleep. And when I cried, I prayed. And GCK was around the corner, that is July edition 2022. A girl gave a testimony how she was kidnapped in a, in a bank. And I trust God. And the GS said, the world will hear my testimony. And here I am to testify. After the GCK on Tuesday, on Tuesday I received a call from my younger sister that a girl has been found. Praise the Lord. And I want to testify again. Last month, 
That was July this month, uh, this year. I traveled to Bini to go and see my younger brother. So I was there all through the holiday. Last month, GCK at Delta State. On Saturday of the GCK, we went to church. And when we came back, to our greatest surprise, we don't know how snake slipped into the room. And my brother was able to find the snake. There was no light. But how God opened the eyes of my brother to, to see that snake. And we are able to kill that snake. If something had happened to me or my brother, maybe they could have said, maybe that boy have used me for something. So I want to give all the glory to the Lord for what he has done. Brethren, praise the Lord. Snake will swallow you. Whether physical snake or spiritual snake, they are all under the power of God in Jesus' name. testimonies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have more testimony here. Mrs. Puli Ranami is here to share her testimony. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Pulu Ranami. By his grace, I'm saved. I just want to testify what God did for me last night to this morning after the GCK. I had a deep pain inside my brain. And then when I go to the hospital, the doctor will test me and said I'm not a BP patient. Then they will prescribe a parasleep. When I take the parasleep, at times it stops, but at times it will not stop. And this thing has been lingering for five years now. But yesterday, the Lord delivered me. Praise the Lord. From yesterday to now, yesterday I slept till now. I'm not experiencing the pain again. Praise the Lord. Also, I made a promise. The boy that testified yesterday here is my son. I said, when God arrests him, I will testify in the great congregation. And yesterday you heard him testify. I so much thank God for what the Lord has done, and may His holy name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Puli Ronami had migraine headache, but last night God healed her. Praise the Lord. More testimonies. The next person to testify tonight is Miss Savior Victory. Let's hear her testimony. By the grace of God, my name is Savior Victory. I want to thank this God for I want to thank this God for delivering me yesterday night. It was yesterday night I got my healing. For over one year now, I've been having eye problem, and normally I can't see clearly. But even this my new, I have problem in my new. I can't walk fast or even run. Yesterday, I was even hoping that God would deliver me. My mind was praying that let God never pass me by. But after our daddy year, 
after our daddy prayed and said that if you know you cannot see clearly in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. That is how it look as if that something flew out of my eyes and my bones started vibrating. From that place, I know that I can see, I can read, and I can also run. Church, praise the Lord. Out of the eyes. Can you put your hand together? As we listen to, please, we listen to the doctor, please. Please, please, uh, we we'll listen to the doctor to explain. Praise the Lord. Miss Savior of Victory had chronic leg pain, but after the prayer of the man of God, the pain vanished. And she also received a miraculous healing of her eye defects. We want to test her. If she could read this, can you read, read what I've written there? Mention the name there. Blessing in your Tom. Praise God. At least she could possibly read now. And together. Put your hand together. And let's bless the name of the Lord. Now. She said something flew out of her eye. What do you think that, that thing is? Huh? That's the devil. That devil has gone out forever and ever in Jesus' name. So, please, the orchestra, you give us... Have any other testimony? Yes. We'll listen to another testimony. Praise God. We have more testimony of the great works of the Lord Almighty. Miss Angela Samuel is here to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Let's listen to her. Grow back, who said, Praise the Lord. My name is Angela Samuel. I want to test what the goodness and God, uh, goodness and mercy on God, my baby life. I come for LMA, LMA region, Gloria Church, Kangrong Group, River State, Nigeria. My, my sister, my brother, I want this baby. I don't see nurse because the pregnancy worry me like this. I say, I'm not going to see nurse before I go burn this baby. Now, so it happened. I come burn this baby. It remains three, one week. I want to carry and go to church. My baby stand to do any, I go to hospital and say, I catch your baby. It's, ah. Cut your baby. I said, God forbid, though. I burn, I, I recall this baby uh, with pregnancy and pray the gospel. God, you cannot ever disgrace me. Now, my husband will buy drugs. They buy drugs. Our region will not come here, but my sweet say, come here. He say, now through me, I will come oh, because my father will come for river states. Hey, Satan, do everything. He say, me, I will come here. 
for yesterday. Praise the Lord. Yesterday, after daddy pray finish, I start to dance. I start to dance. My own, I start to dance. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, today I come, I come to check my baby. My baby come fine. I don't know the way I go, I go talk because I born four boys. I can't tell God say, give me baby girl. Come God, give me baby girl. Church praise the Lord. I for Benel Public. I for Benel Public. Praise the Lord. Something happened with me 2022. Is that a No verse, I beg no verse. Something happened with me. Is that 2022? My spirit said, go to Benel Public for your village and preach the gospel. Ah, I said, eh? Why now? He said, go to your village and preach the gospel. Ah. By God's grace, I'm called rich in the public. I can't see, say, I can't hear, say, my daddy, they come and to, uh, for the public. I can't happy, not be small happiness for there. After that one, I can't come back here and say, no, could say, child. The thing vests me like this, eh? My prayer say, this could say, go come back for the public in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand together. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She has booked for a GCK for Bene Republic for our Father in the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Miss Angela Samuel testify of a baby that has the features of cerebral palsy, but after the prayer of the man of God, the baby seems normal, and today she is happy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Child having the same condition, God will touch that child before the crusade is over in Jesus' name. There is yet more things that the Lord has done. Here is Master Halis Rasami is going to share the testimony of what the Lord has done for him. Let's listen to him. George, praise the Lord. My name is Oli Somazuki Ransom. I'm from Aouda East Local Government Area in River State. Seven years ago, I experienced a dislocation in my hand, which made me, I was not able to touch my elbow again. Like, I had my shoulder, I had pains. So, after the man of God prayed the prayer that anything, any infirmities in your body will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I answered amen with faith. And after a while, I stretched my hand and I noticed as, and I noticed that I could touch my shoulder. I want to give God the glory for You're giving me serious. the miracle. In Jesus' name, amen. Practical. Put your hand together. Jesus is the orthopedic doctor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He had a dislocation of the elbow joint that affected the use of that his hand. He couldn't touch his shoulder. But right now, after the prayer of the man of God, that dislocation has been healed. Now you could touch. You can see him demonstrating. Praise the Lord. Orchestra, give us a song. We are all going to rise up and rejoice as they sing. As they play. Thank you. 
Give me loud amen. The Lord will bless us like this and more than this tomorrow in Jesus' name. And so we are going to pray together. Tomorrow, our youths, our young men, our young adults, our pastor has already told you, he will be with you tomorrow morning. And you know what it will be? You will be made to be an extraordinary person that will make impact. It will happen in Jesus' name. And so let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight. We praise your name for your faithfulness. Thank you how you allowed your people to come for this crusade tonight. Thank you for the blessing of eternal life. You have given to many who have accepted Christ. Thank you for those that you have restored. Thank you for those you have encouraged their faith. Thank you for those that have been healed. Thank you for those that have been delivered. Receive all your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you for our Father in the Lord. Thank you for the grace of God upon him. Your power upon him. Father, we pray more than what you have done today, you will do tomorrow through him in Jesus' name. We pray for more strength. We pray for grace. We pray for health. We pray for you, O oh God, to anoint him more and more in Jesus' name. And we pray that, Lord, because tomorrow is going to be a double dose. We pray, O oh Lord, you give him double anointing. You give him double strength. You give him double power. You will enable him to do all that he needs to do and still be fresh for your people in Jesus' name. Father, all that he has lost today in strength and energy, Father, as he goes to sleep, he will wake up tomorrow bouncing in the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. Father, we pray that as we go to where we shall sleep tonight, grant everyone journey mercies in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Give me a shout of amen, louder, amen. God bless you. Shout amen now. God bless you.